Hello, hello everybody and welcome to all the mods to the sky Minecraft mod series number nine. This is number nine. <laughs> uh, this means we will not finish number seven. And I don't think number eight existed, but whatever. We will be playing this new mod pack. It came out quite recently. I don't really follow the modding community that much, but uh, sometimes I check on some new mod packs that I would like to play. And this one showed up and I thought, why not try it? Because I did try the last one. I did like it. I just I just couldn't get myself to record it and finish it. As you also may have noticed, we live on a quite an interesting island. I would say it's a quite a step up from the last one we had. Uh, you can choose from four different options, I think. And this one is, I think, the nicest because this has already a house, some trees, some water, some animals. We don't need to completely start from nothing. We can also check inside the house. They're pretty nice. We start with the bed, cozy stuff, some storage, everything you need to start a Minecraft series. As this is modded skyblock, we have quests. And the quests are quite similar. We have our introductory quest, which I already did. We get our book, or we can use the top left corner here to just open it so we don't have a wasted space in our inventory. We have our main quest line. Uh, we have all of these quest lines down here, but I think uh, the main quest line is the one that leads you to the ATM star, right? This is the one we have to complete. Uh, this getting started part one is quite similar to the previous one, which would make sense because it's kind of the same mod pack, just updated. And as well as this is how most skyblocks start, and this is where we will start. Well then, the first quest. Uh, it's just a check mark, you know. Welcome to all the mods, nine to the sky. If you played the original or any skyblock ever, most of what you have to do should be self-explanatory up until the ATM metals. So I think these are the vibranium and then obtanium and aldamodium. I think those are the three main ones. Maybe there's something else new. I'm not sure. Uh, but if not, do not fear, these quests are here to guide you through the start. Well, the start is pretty simple. We gather wood, we gather stone, we sift it down, uh, we, you know, build, gather some water. Uh, the progression is kind of simple and I know most of it, so hopefully we don't have to look at the quest book much. But let's begin. And honestly, this is not much different than just regular Minecraft, besides the fact you can ultimine everything. So. That's very convenient. But if we have our saplings here, we can plant uh, lots at once and twerk it. Twerk it. <laughs> also a nice feature of this mod pack uh, that you can uh, sh spam shift to uh, make crops grow. I think this also works on these ones over here. Yes, and we can right click to harvest and grow. Very nice. We can also actually breed our animals, right? And another thing probably everybody already knows is you just shift right click on the ground to get pebbles. And these pebbles can be turned into blocks. You do need to have an empty hand, so make sure your slots, your hotbar slots don't fill up with your uh, pebbles because then you can't you know, harvest any stone. And we can combine these into cobblestone. Very nice. We got a few quests completed already actually just one never mind oh this one is read description cool chop down the tree awesome uh yes being a skyblock you can spam crouch to make anything including your trees grow faster so that's what we did kind of already knew that also we completed the kick rocks <laughs> quest where we shift right click grass and we get pebbles 50% chance at cobblestone pebbles and 50% chance to get any other variants. We can see here we also get blackstone, which is nice, and deep slate, also very nice. So we get nether ores and surface, I mean overworld ores, uh, not ores, rocks as well. The thing is, I don't want to like destroy everything here <laughs> just yet because we will need to expand it uh, eventually when we start plucking down some machines and you know doing all the different mods. But I do need to make like a work area and I don't want to like interfere with this natural 
land we have here. Well, not natural, but you know, the one we started with. So I might, I might expand out a little bit here first, but I don't have any materials. Ah, oh, never mind. So I'll just work, make a work area around, around here. I think the classics. Make a crafting bench. Very nice beginning. Let's check the quests again, actually. So we can do a crook, a barrel, hammer time, and compressed items. So these compressed items, not all mod packs, or not all sky blocks have these, but you can compress any of the. I think actually most blocks you can compress that are like vanilla. And you can hammer these down, uh, and we don't have a hammer just yet, to just make it more efficient, saves time, saves space, times. Eight, nine, times nine is the maximum, which is 387 million. I think that's quite a lot. And I placed down a block I can't pick up. Okay, got some more pebbles just to make my life a bit easier. Uh, we have some more cobblestone. We can make our basic cobblestone tools so I can pick stuff up actually. Great. It's also coming nighttime, so it's actually kind of convenient that we have a bed here. I'm not sure if mobs can spawn. The area is quite well lit. Oh, I grew something. Oh, berries. I grew glow berries. <laughs> uh, yep. It's, again, they're growing. They're growing a lot. The area is lit up well. The chicken is enjoying the fountain. So there should not be any mobs, but just to make sure a creeper just doesn't blow me up, I'll take a nap. So the goal right now i think is to get our first cobblestone generator uh which is well we have the wood the glass we can get water we have in our fountain the only thing we need is a lava bucket and to get lava we need this crucible and to get the crucible we need some clay and we can get clay using this oak barrel uh, if we put water and dust or sand i will just see this in a second oh if you put dust uh, with a barrel with water we can get clay we also need some bone meal which we can get from a think sifting dust as well we'll get there so let's just start by making a, ourselves a barrel uh, which was a bit of planks we need some more planks very simple and we got our barrel we'll probably need multiple multiple of these just to make uh, some uh, resource generation faster but this is fine for now if we check our quests yes uh, barrels are one of the most important ways to get materials in the pack second only to a sieve all right uh, these can make clay using water salsa and using witch water and even create dirt from saplings uh, and these will fill with water when it rains so hopefully it does i'm not sure how many water sources are there because it kind of only looks like we have one up there, right? So that means we still need another one. We can get it in a different way if we check the recipes here. I just realized, does this not have water? It does. One here and one on top of the fountain. Never mind then. So the fact that we already have two water sources, we just need a bucket. And if we search for a bucket... Uh, we can check if there's a different bucket that's not iron. We have a porcelain clay, which still needs clay, and clay needs water. So maybe we can shoot for the iron bucket, or, you know, let's actually do some quests. Honestly, this is the best way to progress, to just do quests, and we'll see what resources we have, and then we'll figure stuff out. So before we go into this area uh, let's try and get some resources and see what we get first because if we get iron well we'll just smelt some iron and uh, that's going to be the way we get our bucket so the first thing is i think we need to make a crook we need our sapling and we twerk it we destroy the leaves we don't get anything wow awesome we grow another tree. All right, and now we get some silkworms. We lost our crook, but that doesn't matter for now. We'll just grow another three, 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 
uh, and the third three and just infest our leaves with silkworms. Very simple, and these should spread all across the tree. Now that all the leaves are infected, infested? Infested, yes, not infected. Uh, we can just ultimate them, we get 29 string. That should be enough to get our first mesh, like so. We get our mesh. We also need to do a sieve itself, and it said we also need some gravel. Luckily, we have gravel from the compression quest. Uh, but actually, I'll show you how we get gravel. Uh, otherwise, we make a hammer, we place down our cobblestone, and we just mine it, and we get gravel. Same way we get sand, and from sand we can make dust. Very simple. Hopefully, <laughs> it's not going too fast, because I, as I said before, I've done this quite a few times. Just the beginning part. Later on, I'll guarantee you, I'll be stuck on multiple things at a time because I am not good with like the magic mods not always good with the tech mods because some of them are very difficult all right so we can place our mesh in our sieve and we can just start sifting so we hold right click there's a chance we get some materials but I think okay we get aluminum chunk and also an iron chunk okay and we can turn these chunks into ore. All right, this is actually something new because I think before you got scraps or something like that that could be turned into the raw versions of iron and then you can smelt them. But now you get ores and you can use these ores for duplication, I would assume, and uh, quadruplication and whatnot. All right, but that's nice. That's a change for this mod pack. So I kind of sped uh, through some quests. We got the hammer quest done, the string quest done, the mesh quest, we also get some more string. You can have sieve blocks 25 at a time. I can make him by making a five by five, which is uh, uh, what we'll probably do so we can get our resources faster, it's just convenient. So we did our gravel, uh, sand, and dust, very nice. But did this say most of the string journey, uh, starting journey will be getting materials via sieving. All right, don't be afraid to make a ton of gravel. Sieving gravel is how you progress. Next quests. So this one is grass seeds. Grass seeds, mycelium spores. Right clicking dirt with these seeds will cause it to turn into grass slash mycelium. Uh, all right, if I check grass seeds, right? I think these are yeah, we get these from sifting dirt. Uh, we don't need them currently. This will be useful if you want to expand our island. Uh, as I said before, we started on this beautiful island and we already have grass with dirt, so uh, it's not really relevant to us right now. The next quest is get ready. A lot of sieving incoming. So you are about to be saving a lot of blocks. Use Ultimine for fast mining with a hammer and perhaps get an auto clicker auto clicker ready. Alright. Pretty simple. It's just telling us how we will progress our sifting journey because you can get better meshes if we search for mesh. Uh, we see we have a string flint and up to netherite. The reason is this one, oh if you check the recipes, I mean well, yeah, I guess these are recipes for the meshes. We can see all the blocks we can sift as well as what they drop and what are the drop chances. And you can see where is gravel. Let's check gravel because we just did, yeah, uh, we just did gravel. The chance of getting something is very low, you know, and we can't even get, for example, diamonds or emeralds. But if we check the, well, diamond mesh, for example, and we check gravel, we can see we have a 5% chance to get diamonds and emeralds, and there is even a higher chance to get other ores. If we check back with this string mesh, you can see that, oh, where is it? Getting iron is a 10% chance, but for the diamond one, it's a 15% chance. It doesn't seem very significant yet, but when we do a lot of sifting, uh, those 15% uh, 15% will make a diff big difference, right? 
and you can also automate this with uh, RF uh, later on. For now, we'll probably make a lot of sieves and a lot of meshes. So I was just minding my own business, you know, setting up all these sieves because I thought, uh, you know, I'll do these off camera, I'll do a 3x3, three three, and then I noticed something. A creeper just sitting there on my seat as well as a star bunkle. All right, but yeah, it kind of scared me because I was just, you know, uh, doing a crooking or whatever you would call that, my leaves. And I just turn around and I see a creeper just chilling there. As well as, I think there's one behind the house. Actually, there's two. If you look at the mini map, if I zoom in, you can see on the top right here, there's two more creepers. So mobs do spawn and I definitely need to light this area up a little bit more and also take a nap. I can't rest because monsters are nearby. I wonder... I wonder where. Oh, 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 oh. What is that? What is that? Oops. Uh, wrong button. Is that a baby creeper? Creeper thought. <laughs> Alright. Small pile of gunpowder. I can use it to get actual gunpowder. Wow. That actually creeped me out. So as a demonstration to you, and to you, and to you guys out there somewhere, I just wanted to show you how this works. You just right click the middle, hold right click, and it gives you all the materials. And it did all the nine gravel uh, at once. Pretty simple. So we got some aluminum, osmium, iron we already had, and amethyst. And the next step, is to actually upgrade our mesh so we get more drops because currently this is the worst one and to get flint well we have to sift for it maybe maybe there is another way but i think sifting for it makes sense because we still need the materials we get from sifting uh, so while i was before i start grading some materials i also wanted to show you this uh what is it called the compressed hammer Compressed stone hammer, well, depending on what kind of hammer you compress, but we can make, how many do we need? Eight? No, we probably can't use this one. So we need nine stone hammers, all just in the crafting grid, and we get our compressed stone hammer, and we can compress our cobblestone, for example, and just place it down, ultimine it, and we get gravel. We still need to, if you want to get it to a lower tier for sand or dust, we still need to craft it again. But just to show you that with a simple hammer you can't destroy it. Right, that's just like destroying obsidian and it won't give you anything, it just it will just destroy the block. So this is a nice way to get uh, to be more efficient with your time, I guess, <laughs> because resources are a bit less efficient, but you save some time. Relatively quickly, I uh, got myself 15 chunks. I think it took me maybe three or four stacks of gravel. Not a lot, uh, just, you know, a few minutes. Now we can mine them, get ourselves our raw chunks. I also made a furnace. And we also get some coal, which we can use in our furnace. I should make some more torches, actually, to light up the uh, world, because I did get a few more... Uh, a few more creepers around because this back area of the island isn't very well lit but now if we i see a creeper i think he's in a fountain on the mini map again yeah he's stuck over there just just leave him but now we should have our iron ingots we actually we can't leave him because we need the water right uh we make a hole in the ground I'll just make it here for now as I said before I don't want to destroy this island I want to preserve it but I need some space to work so we get oh, get our water <laughs> destroy some crops get our water here because of uh, Minecraft we kill this creeper I wonder how much damage does this not much oh it's actually weak all right we kill this creeper Hopefully. Alright. 
We oh he dropped an iron sword. Wow. <laughs> and elongated so I can uh, reach further. Cool. That's actually nice. Uh, we get this source up there. No. We get this source up here. Oh. Uh, we fill our hole in. And let's just fill... Actually fill these barrels. And fill these back in. So, oops. Wow. I just wanted to say, fill this back in so my crops don't die. And what do I do? I kill my crops. Amazing. I'll, I'll uh, replant them later. Alright, we have our fountain back and nicely flowing. Right, chicken. Uh, if we check our chest, we have our dust. Oh, it automatically comes out. So we have our clay. And all we need now is some bones. And to get bone meal, we can use the same, sift uh, the same sifting setup, which I actually wanted to upgrade. But you can, we can use our same sifting setup to get some bone meal as well. 11% chance on the flint meshes. All right, and some new uh, materials. So that's what, the other thing I wanted to do real quick is upgrade our string mesh because we got 45 flint in the time I was sifting. So we can upgrade our meshes and fill these in and these should be more efficient and give me more resources. If we check our quest line, actually I didn't uh, complete all the quests so we can get some more clay here. We have our flint meshes, we can upgrade them of course and we have our hammering which you can use our efficiency book on, probably not the stone one Maybe when we upgrade to an iron or potentially a diamond one. Alright, after a bit of grinding, I got me the clay and bone meal. So we can make our porcelain clay. We only need seven, I think. Yep, and we get our unfried. We pop it in our furnace. Smelts quite quickly. I also completed this quest to get bones. I mean bone meal. So we get some more bones, I guess. <laughs> But I need, actually I have a campfire already, but you need a light source that will heat up the crucible. If we check our recipes, I think you can see the heat sources and the melt rates. And if we use it above a campfire, it melts at two times speed versus if we use just a torch, it does one times speed. And there are some insane blocks like a superheating element. Uh, that does 60, what is this, dark matter, 100, yeah, and just fire this times 5. But I don't think we have a place to burn fire, so I'll just use this campfire, like so. Uh, we put in our, actually we cannot waste cobblestone and use like granite, because what else are we going to use it for? Just pop it in, I think it takes... Four blocks, right? And that should be a bucket in a little while. At the top you can see it's melting. We only have 50 mil buckets now. We need a thousand. So it will take a bit of time. But for you, it will take no time. It is done. If you can see, it says one bucket out of four. I also had to make a second bucket. I completely forgot for the recipe. We do need two buckets. One for water, one for lava. But that wasn't much of a problem because with these upgraded meshes, it was a lot easier. Now we can make our cobblestone generator, right? If we go into our crafting bench and just move everything there, we have our cobblegen tier 1 and we get to keep the buckets, which is very convenient. We also, as it actually suggests here, you need this. We should make our simple compacting drawer because uh, this allows us to store the uh, cobblestone we get as well as compact it. So we don't have to do the manual crafting every time I want to, uh, you know, make a compacted version of cobblestone. We need some sort of basic drawer. If you've never used drawers, they're also very convenient. Oh, you can just do it like this. All right, I did not know that. These store up to, well, they can store a lot of blocks, but you can store one type of block in here. You 
can uh, give it upgrades like utility and storage. For example, a void upgrade will uh, delete any excess items you put in here. Currently it stores, uh, well it says 2k, but I think it's 2048 maybe, 96, I'm not sure. And you know, just left click to get it out. But we'll won't, we won't be using these for the cobblestone. We'll use the compacting drill, which I'll make in just a second when I smell the stone. So we made the drawer, we can make the piston. We got the redstone from sifting uh, dust, which we did because we need bone meal as well. Uh, we got our stone, timed it almost perfectly. We got our stone, we got our drawer. You can make different kinds of drawers as well, actually. If you check the recipes, you can do this one for these double drawers or quad drawers. Uh, we'll probably use them in the future as well. But for now, we make our simple compacting drawer. We got our quest, oops, we got our quest, uh, which gives us more drawers. And we have our cobblestone generator, so we have to place it on top or the bottom. The quest says we can place this thing on top of your cobble gen and it will automatically compress everything it receives. So if we do, I'll just place it over here for now, I guess. And we place our drawer on top. We should be receiving cobblestone maybe we need some initial yes we need some initial cobblestone and now you can see we're generating cobblestone uh, relatively quickly and we can just left click to get our compacted versions so we can use these to easily get more gravel and sift it and you know get materials that's going to be it for today's episode guys we did kind of rush through the beginning, but that's how this usually goes. I've done this quite a few times. That's why, wow, lightning actually struck on my island, but it's raining. So, yes, as I said, I don't want uh, to bore you with this beginning because it is relatively simple. And hopefully we'll get into more the next episode and episodes beyond that. And hopefully finish the series, right? And yeah, that's going to be it. If you have any suggestions, of course, leave a comment. Uh, a like and subscribe would be also appreciated. Because uh, this that would be great motivation for me to make some more videos. Uh, that's going to be it. Bye-bye.